So I always start out my day here on the home page. Um, it, it gives me a quick view, uh, overview of, of where what's going on in my organization. And it uh, under the assistant view here, it gives me a quick view of which opportunities are overdue. That's where I'm gonna start my day every day. Um, I wanna go in and take a look and see why they're overdue. Maybe there's a note that I need to add or something that's pushed out the date, or maybe it's something that I need to follow up on right away. Uh, Along with that, I also get the tasks, tasks that have been assigned to me either through some other automation routine or tasks that I've set for myself. So several of these are, are created by, uh, by Pardot, and we'll show you uh, where that's coming from. Uh, some were created by me as I go through my day or if I'm taking a look through my accounts, uh, I'll go through and I'll create tasks for follow-ups if I know I've got a specific day that I wanna uh, catch up with somebody on a, on a topic. But let's take a look at one of the ones that was generated from Salesforce or from uh, Pardot. So if we click into the contact record here, immediately we'll get the details. Uh, we can see everything that's related to this opportunity, et cetera, all, this, all the stuff that you would normally see on an account screen or contact screen. And then uh, the special thing here with having Pardot looped in is I can see his Pardot engagement history directly on his contact page. So I can see not only that he opened the email, but every time that he opened the email. So if you open up an email this many times, that pretty much tells me that you're interested in the material that's in it. And I'm going to go ahead and follow up with this person, either with a direct phone call to see if I can get in touch with them and see if they have any questions or send a follow up email and see if they have any questions about the slide deck that we sent. And actually, what you can see here, too, is that uh, this is also part of another automation routine that we ran. So this is a couple of different emails. So the original email that we sent out was a workshop overview. We saw that they clicked through to that. And then a handful of days ago, uh, part of the automation routine would send up a follow-up email automatically. So this is a really simple automation that we've set up, but it's a great way to uh, make sure that your clients are being followed up with in a timely manner. And you don't have to remember what that operation is every day. So this is one of those great conveniences that I have with Pardot is that I can set up these small, easy to build, easy to run routines that ensure that my clients are being followed up with in a cadence that I see works best. So typically it's a couple of days. Give them a chance to take a look at the slide deck, digest the information, maybe review it with teams, and then an automated email comes out three days later saying, hey, let me know if you have any questions now that you've had a chance to view the slide deck. And we know they viewed it because we can see it right here on the screen. So here on the engagement history, you can also see that uh, I can see on the first page here, the, the, the last five or the most recent five interactions. But then just by clicking here, I can see the next five and the next five all the way back to the beginning. I can see the entire history with this particular contact, what they've looked at and how long ago that was and, and really take a look at, at the entire history of how they've engaged with our content so far. So you can see here that they've been engaging with our content now for the last two weeks at least and how many times they've come through here and, uh, and viewed something. So 13 times since we first started engaging with this client. I'd say that the interest is, is high enough here that it would warrant uh, a direct follow-up with that client. So I can do that by a phone call. I can also do it uh, by sending another Pardot email and I can do that directly from the console right here, right uh, inside the contact by clicking on send Pardot email. It's gonna bring up a window where I can edit this email or include it on a template. Uh, we've set up several templates and this is a really great idea. These templates are, are simple. They're meant to be used by Salesforce, uh, salespeople in Salesforce. So uh, very easy to get in here and, and pick ones that are available to your sales team. You can, you can restrict these so that not all of them will be available to your team. You have control over that within Pardot. But, uh, but let's say I wanna send them the, you know, we just had a phone call with them and, and, we, and I wanna send them another overview deck. Uh, you just click on the template here, click OK, saying that it's OK to overwrite all the information that we already have in there, and then it includes it for us, uh, along with all of our um, tags here so that it'll uh, bring in the information for that contact and all their information correctly. So this is a really simple, again, a very simple email and a very simple process to be able to go in through here and send a one-to-one -one email uh, to one of your contacts. And the great thing is, is it's not going to look like it comes from Cypress Learning. It's going to look like it comes directly from me. 